We are in town for something important. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Well, not for Sebastian. Something else important. We are about to buy a broom. At least I hope so. I think I have enough money for that. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Man, I'm popular. Only just begun at the school. Everyone's pissed me. Revelio. In a good way, I guess. Uh, Baroom. Oh, Baroom. There were kids practicing here earlier. Huh, maybe you took off. Up, up, and away. Alright, let's have a chat. But first, bloop, for the collection. Sporting needs. Oh, it's a sporty broom. Maybe we can get one with flames on it or something. <laughs> Although I do see some weird models over there. Let's see. Can I open this? Yes. All right. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. All right, first some intel, please. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Wait, there's more. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. U weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U1's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Show me the models. Stability. House pride. Temperament. Light touch. All right. And a unique design. Does it really matter? Is it the highest quality? I mean, cosmetically, uh, duh, but does it really matter which one you choose? That item is of the highest quality. Funky looking. No. <laughs> With a bag? I don't know. That item is of the highest like this one. quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. This one's a little bit pimped. I like it. Although I must say, it doesn't really look like a broom. It's like a... Well... <laughs> it's like a horse. Then again, children use brooms as for horseplay, so I, I get it, but... There's a saddle on it and stuff like that. It's pretty modern. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. 
I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spintwitches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Already then. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Time trial? I can probably do that. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. It's pretty far away, but that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Oh, we're allowed to fly. Let's give it a try. Hey, hey, hey. You said I could fly. Still a... Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeehaw! Still, the music of the never ending story is in my head. Which, well, it's kind of fitting. I mean, it's, it's also about magic and fantasy stuff, so. Ah, eh? oh, this is fun. I have my own broom. Don't have to borrow one from class anymore. Can go where I want, when I want. Sort of. There are some areas. We're not allowed to fly, but eh. what's this then? A little bit of money and a random newspaper. Are spies here? People did that, you know, leaving newspapers around in certain areas to contact Rebellion. their informants. So uh, I don't know. Fudge. Left or fudge? Huh. That's no joke. All right, moving on. Have a race to do. Well, time trial. Still counts. Some scary triangle here. Hmm. Is that a human? Did they webbed up? I'm not gonna stick around to find that out. I'm just gonna leave that for now. We'll go back to that later. Woohoo! The 
this is fun. Very effective. To get around a little faster. Oh yeah. Okay. Put it in park. Bloop. Rebellion. Excuse me. Coming through. Just standing around here all day whining about that it's cancelled, but still in quit his uniform? That's weird. Wait, Akio. What are you doing? Uh, he's ruined my entire school year. I hope a pup skin goes up his nose and snaps his brain. It had poisoned the poor beast. What okay, my marker's over here. All over, buddy. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Hey you, Ravenclaw. I have a name. Amelda Rays. I'll be weak. Sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying, from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Thank you. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. All right. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Well, she's not very nice. Okay, maybe we should have practiced a little bit more, but it is what it is. Is that a ghost? From the time to beat? I think so. Oh, I need to hit those bubbles. Sonic rings. Make me go a little bit faster. Oh crap! Oh, we're not off to a great start. How much penalty do you get if you skip a ring? Uh, shouldn't just assume that it will be okay. So, try, oh, fucking hell! This is rather fun. Just try and hit them. I mean, this is doable. It's just that. I'm not quite good at the flying yet. The handling of the broom. I'll get the hang of it later. If I fail... Maybe I'll get a second chance, maybe? Oh, the cornering is pretty tricky, actually. Like I said, it's just... about getting used Success. to it. Success, well, we we'll call it success. Can't say that this broom really ooh, handles differently than the one that we use for practice, but maybe it does. Maybe that's why I'm messing up so badly. Or maybe it's because it's 3 a.m. I should be sleeping. Who knows? It's not going great. Did it. 
don't don't say that you did it until you actually do it. Ooh, cutting it close. Oh, cutting it real close to 18.6. Damn. Well, it's better than 220. It's not great, but it'll do. It'll do, wizard. It'll do. Now, let's see what he has to say. Could you imagine how many rings she failed to hit? If her time was 220? Just saying. I suck, but she sucks even more. Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Uh, fine. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Wow, what a happy little camper she is.